Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the Archer, the Tier 5 British Tank Destroyer. Uh, this is a very, very unusual machine, uh, but I'm quite liking it. It's one of my new toys. Um, it's basically a tank destroyer with a 17-pounder gun that was built on the chassis of a Valentine, uh, the Tier 4 light tank that leads onto this tank, but I uh, haven't played too many games in it. In fact, this was a game that was played live on stream, uh, so apologies if you've seen it in advance or before, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I have to say, Archer, one of my new toys, and I'm quite liking it. And the reason I like it mainly is down to the gun. It gets the usual um, British 17-pounder gun, 171 millimeters of penetration, 150 alpha damage, but it gets this gun at Tier 5. Um, I love this gun on the TOG at Tier 6. I love this gun on the Firefly at Tier 6. Um, in fact, this gun comes on the AT-15A, the premium tank destroyer, at Tier 7, but yet it comes here at Tier 5 on the Archer. It's a very, very good gun. Rapid firing. The tank itself has got a very, very wide gun arc, so you don't have to move the hull very much. Uh, gun depression. I wasn't quite sure what the gun depression was going into this game. I think I was testing it as, as I was driving into position. But since then, I found out that the gun depression is about 17, uh, or 7. wish it was 17, but 7 degrees of gun depression. Um, so, yeah, this tank has got a very, very good gun, but no armor, and is pretty unmaneuverable. Uh, the other unusual thing about this tank is... Uh, as I say, this was a tank destroyer, but it was based on the chassis of the Valentine, and um, about 600 of them were built, I believe. They were quite effective, but the uh, gun was mounted backwards on the chassis of the Valentine, which means that you actually need to drive this tank in reverse in order to get top speed. Uh, if you try and drive this uh, gun the, or the tank the way the gun is facing, it's only got about a 12 kilometer an hour top speed. So you actually need to drive this thing into reverse until you get it into position. Uh, anyway, we're here on Erlenberg. Um, we're a tier five or I'm a tier five in a tier seven game. So pretty much as bad a matchup as you can get. Uh, RT on the enemy team as well. Uh, I'm platooned with Ram and Tonza. Um, and let's just get going. So first thing I do is I start driving in reverse. Um, as I say, I haven't got too many games played in the tank. You can see that the gun arc on the tank is very, very good. Um, and I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour top speed in reverse. If I was traveling the other direction, I'd only be doing 12 kilometers an hour. So going in reverse, it is actually not slow. It's actually quite quick. You can see me testing the gun depression uh, because at the time of playing this game on stream, I wasn't sure what the gun depression was and the gun depression seemed to be quite good. So I'm going to be heading over to the hill at G1. Got to be using that gun depression rate of fire. But uh, yeah, I think I like this tank. I might actually end up keeping it. I don't know why, but uh, because uh, if I do keep it, I don't see myself playing it very often, but it is it is quite a good tank. You've just got to remember you've only got 360 hit points, and because you're a tier 5, that means basically tier 5s, tier 6s, tier 7s can one-hit kill you. Uh, Panzer IV H firing a derp gun can one-hit kill an archer. Tier 7s, 122mm gun can one-hit kill an archer. Uh, so yeah, it's not got a lot of hit points. It's got next to no armor. It's a pure tank destroyer. It's a pure sniper So um, as you can see even though I'm going quite fast in reverse Didn't get into position as quickly as I was hoping to the Ag Panther got up there Now as per usual in my mid tier or low tier tanks. I don't actually have six cents So uh, don't have a very good crew in this So that's going to uh, show a lot in how I play this game because as you can see I'm aiming aim time isn't great but once it's fully aimed take one shot and I fall back again because I'm not quite sure whether or not I've got six cents but um, or whether I've been spotted but we get two nice shots into the tiger this is a tier 5 penning the front of a tier 7 heavy that's where all the credits and XP are made when you're shooting higher tier tanks and the Archer, it's got a great gun. It's capable of killing higher tier tanks. So, uh, seven degrees of gun depression. Just moving forward, going to try and get shots on this tug. And again, after I fire, I'm going to want to fall back pretty soon. You've got a decent rate of fire. But, uh, tug gets taken out. So Churchill 7 moving across. Missed that shot. I think that's one of the few shots I missed in this game. Enemy is hit. But we've got a side. We've got a solid tree in front of us, so I know I'm probably not spotted. I can just put shots in. Again, someone else takes him out before I get a killing shot in. 
But we're up to uh, 900 damage. Still doing work, still poking. There's still quite a few tanks on the enemy team that haven't been spotted yet. But uh, again, just waiting. Notice the Tiger had fired. Just trying to adjust my position so I could put this gun to pressure to use. And there we go. Just showing the top of our tank. Shooting down into the side of the turret the Tiger. And as I say, tier 5 shooting tier 7s. This is where all your money and credits are made. So, just an 88 IS below us. Decide to push forward. And we bounce on the IS. Now, the thing is, I noticed our Yag Panther got shot. And the IS and the 88 hadn't shot him. So I know there's at least one more tank that hasn't been spotted sitting down around C2. Uh, and now I know it's a Yag Panther, because the Yag Panther took out the Yag Panther. But uh, unfortunately, again, bouncing on the side of an AT-8, using the wreck of the Yag Panther for cover. Still enemy RT in play, and no sixth sense, but I'm sure I've been spotted. And uh, there we go. Now, I'm being very, very hesitant, because again, because I've been keeping an eye on what was going on around me, keeping an eye on the kill feed, I know there's a Yag Panther up here. So I'm just sitting still, letting my Binox and Camonet kick in. Now, of all the tanks that came over to the 1-2 lines, only me and uh, VK3002M are the survivors, but we've just spotted the Yag Panther. So go for one shot, and I'm not hanging around. Absolutely not hanging around. If he spotted me, then I'm dead. I've been spotted. He can, he can potentially one-hit kill me if he rolls high. But move forward. Let my Binox kick in, and there's no sign of him. So in the meantime, our team are winning the 9-0 lines. There are lots of tanks in the middle, and I decide I'm probably going to get more damage out of this game if I actually go th towards the middle of the map. And I'm making a mistake here, because I'm driving and not driving in reverse. Although I am doing a little bit faster, I am going a little bit faster than I thought I was. So I was doing 18 kilometers an hour. I thought this thing at a top speed of 12 going forward. But uh, yeah, remembered, go in reverse, drive in reverse, move up. And I've got more chance of doing damage to the tanks in the middle. Yag Panther gets spotted. But I know there's a T-34 down in the cap. He's just been spotted. And one shot's all it takes to take him out. Now, that probably got me spotted. So fall back into cover. And no shots on anything else. So once again, I know there's a Yag Panther up in front of me. So poke. Aim, shoot, fall back. No sixth sense. And someone else is putting shots into the Yag Panther. So I'll wait till he drops off radar. Once again, using this great gun arc, I'm going to poke, going to let my Binox kick in. And we spot the Yag Panther again. Not much to shoot at, but this gun, it's just such a good gun. May not have the alpha damage of a lot of tank destroyers, but um, at tier 5, there are quite a few tank destroyers that have low alpha damage. I'm thinking of the T-67, Wolverine. So again, pushing forward. Letting my Binox kick in. And no soap. There he is. So we get one shot into his side. He's tracked. Get another shot in. And do we finally get it? No, we're stuck on one kill. But uh, yeah, Archer, it's a pretty good tank as long as you play it quite passively and play it as a tank destroyer. So I'm quite enjoying the Archer. Uh, it's a little bit situational, again, because you don't have a lot of hit points, don't have a lot of armor, but uh, as long as you drive in reverse, it's not a slow tank destroyer, and you've got to love the 17-pounder. It's great on pretty much every tank you find it on. Um, that was a game played on stream. Uh, it was my first ace tanker in the Archer. Picked up a Confederate, picked up a Sniper as well. Uh, finished top on XP with 1267, 2568 damage done. Um, and this, again, is a Tier 5 and a Tier 7. 
7 game. So the gun, that just pretty much shows you how good the gun on the Archer is. Um, out of the 20 shots fired, including blind shots, I only missed one. So uh, 20 shots fired, 19 hits, 17 penetrations. Penetration on the gun is great. Happy with the damage. Uh, damage 7, destroyed 1, did nine or 197 assistance damage and earned 40,000 credits with a premium account. You can see that the ammo costs are very, very cheap on the tank as well. 20 shots only came to 3,500 credits. Uh, 1,900 XP exactly on a times 2 left me on 3,800 XP. Uh, yep, yeah, Archer, um, I think I can recommend this tank. It needs to be played passively, but uh, when it does, when it gets the opportunity to be played passively, I think the gun depression is quite good. I think the speed is quite good as long as you drive it in reverse, and I think the gun is awesome. Uh, yeah, definitely think I'm going to be keeping this tank even after finishing with it, although I don't know when I'll actually play it, but it is quite a fun little tank. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.